This video tutorial is to go over the notes on converting percents, fractions, and decimals. First, we're going to start off with converting percents to decimals. So move the decimal space, the decimal space is right of the ones digit, two times to the left, and remove the percent sign. For 15%, we end up with 0.15, or we write that as 0.15. Try these out, 1% and 140%. We put the decimal place to the right of the ones digit and move it twice. For 1%, there's a void, so we fill it with a zero. You end up with 0 0.01 or 0 0.01. For 140%, you move the decimal place twice to the left and you have 1.4. Converting from decimals to percents, move the decimal two times to the right and add a, the percent sign. 0.25 becomes 25%. Try these, 0 0.1 and 1.08. 0 0.1, I'm gonna move the decimal place twice to the right. I have a void right here and you add a zero in it. Then you also add the percent sign. You get 10%. For 1.08, move the decimal place twice to the right and add the percent sign is 108%. Next topic is going to be fractions to percents. For 1 fourth, change fraction to decimal using long division. The bottom number goes outside, the top number goes inside. Four doesn't go into one. You add a decimal and bring it up and then add a zero. 1.0 is the same as one or it has the same value of one, but I can see how many times four goes into 10. 10 goes, four goes into 10 two times. Two times four is eight. I subtract, I get two as a remainder. I still have a remainder, so I'm gonna add another zero and bring it down. 4 goes into 25 times, 5 times 4 is 20, I subtract, I get 0. So 1 fourth is the same as 0 0.25, then convert the decimal to a percent, I end up with 25%. Or, if you can change the denominator to 100, the percent is your numerator. For example, 13 over 20, I know I can multiply 20 times 5 to get 100. I also have to multiply the numerator times five because you don't want to change the value of the fraction and five over five is equal to one. So you end up with 65 over 100 and 65% is your percent. Another example, one fifth. I can multiply five times 20 to get 100. So one times 20 gives me 20 I get 20%. The next topic is percent to fraction. Per in the percent means each or four, and the cent is 100. So out of 100 or for each 100, you could say. 12%, you put the 12 over 100. In general, you can say put the percent over 100 and then simplify. For 12 and 100, I know they're both divisible by 4. I can divide both the top and the bottom by 4. I get 3 25ths. Let's try another example. 65%. I put it over 100. I can divide both of them by 5. I get 13 over 20. 12.5%. Now I have 12.5 over 100. I do not want a decimal in the numerator. I'm gonna multiply both by two because I know 12.5 times two gives me 25. And then 25 and 200 are both divisible by 25. I end up with 1 eighth. Please be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I hope you have a great day.